There's a concept called comparative oncology, and, and that's essentially looking at cancer biology, treatment and diagnosis in multiple species. And, and generally what that implies is uh, looking at cancer biology and treatment in our, our uh, companions, our pet dogs and cats, uh, and in humans, and seeing where the differences and the similarities are, and kind of um, use all the information to come up and, and accelerate uh, moving forward with novel therapies, essentially. Well, the University of Wisconsin has a long history, uh, almost since inception, uh, being very cooperative with other institutions of higher learning and between departments within this particular university. For example, our School of Veterinary Medicine, our cancer uh, researchers and clinicians work very closely with the Carbone uh, Human Cancer Center uh, housed in the School of Medicine here in public health. For example, the, the tomotherapy uh, radiation therapy unit that is a marriage between a CAT scanner and a, a linear accelerator was developed here at the University of Wisconsin and uh, the very first patients were actually veterinary patients, uh, pet dogs with nasal tumors because it's a difficult cancer to treat with radiation therapy because it sits right next to the brain and between the eyes and so we have to spare the eyes and the brain while still delivering a high dose of radiation therapy. So that technology all came out of the University of Wisconsin and now has resulted in our radiation machines present throughout the world based on this technology and uh, through the initial investigation in pet dogs with nasal tumors. So we have a significant amount of research going on that uh, we do in conjunction with the Carbone Cancer Center, the Human Cancer Center here, with an eye to helping both species.